Hi, so it's been a very long time since I've last um, recorded, so I'm going to keep it short in terms of the intro. Um, I am back. It has been a long hiatus. I uh, don't even remember when was the last time. I'd have to check the timeline to see when I last checked in. Um, so just like the saying goes, you know, don't be afraid to start from scratch because this time you're starting with experience with um, the knowledge of what caused it not to work out last time and I'm in a much better place to start this journey again. I'm done with school which means that my evenings have now freed up again. Um, I was going to school Monday through Friday, got after work from 6 to 10. I had early days and late nights. Um, wasn't an excuse but was the reason um, that I kind of stayed on a maintenance path instead of losing the weight that I set to um, lose and getting the healthy routine that I had um, set to establish. So a few things have happened. As I mentioned, I finished school, now only have um, clinics three um, days a week. So it frees up the other four for me to be able to work out, um, get to bed on time, you know, pack a lunch, meal plan and whatnot. Um, but the very first important thing that happened is that I realized that one of the reasons I wasn't able to stay on track is because I really honestly was not looking at what my true challenge is. So come to find out that it's not that I mind eating healthy, it's not that I mind prepping, it's just that the time really was a factor for me. So I had to switch gears and actually find something that worked for me. So. My daughter and I signed up for a meal delivery plan so that we could have our breakfast, snacks, lunch, dinners, snack, you know, everything pre-packaged, pre-portioned and ready to go. And that made a huge difference in getting us, you know, started again. Um, the second thing is that I had um, gone to the doctor and um, because of my height, weight, BMI, pre-diabetes situation, arthritis situation, um, and a slew of other issues, um, there's a little bit of pressure for me to consider the um, weight loss surgery. Now, I must tell you that this scares me. It scares me, not the surgery itself, because I understand that it's a life-saving surgery for many people and that it actually does make a big difference um, in getting rid of chronic illnesses and whatnot because you know that that's it, it's been proven what scares me is that i might not be able to lose the weight otherwise so i decided to really really dive in like i've never never done before and really give my chance myself a chance uh, from now until the end of the year to lose the weight on my own so that i don't have to go that route I know that it works for people, I have nothing against it, I just don't feel that at this time it is for me. It has called me to really look at how congruent I have been and I know that I haven't. I haven't been as congruent with what I want as I could have been. So I'm diving back in, renewed uh, motivation, um, a much better plan, much better equipped in a much better space, head-wise, heart-wise, spiritually-wise, um, and I'm back. So I am going to continue recording and um, checking in. Um, as usual, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So far, please, I'm so sorry <laughs> with the noise. I'm in the garage of the gym. Yes, I just put in my workout at the end of my day. Yesterday, again, I did um, three miles walk-jog. Today, again, walk-jog. I am going to talk to a friend of mine tomorrow to see if he can help me out with getting some of the weight training in so that I can have some structure. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, to your health and mine, the journey continues. It was only on pause for a quick minute and um, let's, let's see, you know, I'm excited, I'm hopeful, I'm faithful that I can do it. I really, really, really don't want to have the other alternative. So from here until December, I'd like to get back on track with losing one to two pounds a week, um, eating properly, sleeping enough, staying hydrated, um, 
getting enough rest, managing my stress, balancing work life, the whole nine. I know how to do it. I just have to implement it. I have the support. I have the determination. Fear is something that will definitely motivate me like nothing else. So I'm hoping that being faced with that choice, I'm really gonna be able to stick it out this way. So again, I'm sorry, to your health and mine, let's get this going. Feel free to share. I always welcome your encouragement, your, your comment, your feedback, your suggestions. Um, feel free to share if you like the content um, and you'd like to see more and you'd like to get on with me um, on this journey. It's Cat's Wellness Journey and it's K, the at sign, apostrophe S, Wellness Journey. Talk to you tomorrow.